Hello, I'm Michael Robinson. I'm here at the Foundation Art Gallery with Jordan Wan and Hannah Hanley, and I'm going to discuss with them what inspires them as artists and what advice they have for upcoming freshmen who are interested in getting into the art field. Um, I've, I've been an artist my whole life and it kind of runs in the family and I took a long road to getting to the art major but once I came to RSU and uh, talked to Gary and all the other wonderful art professors um, and took a class with Gary, I, I knew it was what I wanted to do because um, it's been a passion I've had my whole life. Um, it is one of my favorite mediums. I don't like to choose a specific kind of medium. Um, I prefer to call myself a mixed media artist. Um, so I like to use watercolor for the background and then add some Sharpie or some ink and um, just really play it up and mix it up and try different things and experiment. Um, I went with uh, a number of my fellow art students like Mr. Jordan Wong, who I'm really good friends with, um, Blake Wallander, and just uh, a lot of other wonderful people. Um, but to, to be able to um, paint in another country that has so much history in art and it's so overwhelming when you're there, it, um, the, the level of inspiration is just so high. Um, it was. It was something I'll never forget, and I created uh, some of my best art in, in Italy um, and had a, a wonderful overflow of inspiration after I got back. Um, I, I've known I've always liked to help teach, um, but it wasn't until the first day of that class that I really, something just clicked and I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I wanted to help teach art um, to college level students. Um, it's something that I think uh, so many people uh, think is not probably possible until they get into a class and they have someone inspiring help them and it's really awesome like during critiques to uh, see people actually use what I've given them or what I've helped them to create um, in terms of ideas um, and see that come to life. Um, it's it's uh, a real treasure to me to be able to do that. What inspired me to do the Patterns of Life piece was uh, a sense of freedom that I found in Italy um, that there's just so many connected pieces of life and pieces of inspiration that we feel and I, I wanted to portray that through art and um, that is my latest piece um, and it, it actually that's a print and it got sold but from there it has inspired me to look a little bit deeper into uh, a different type of theme for my next art series and uh, it'll, it'll involve how people reflect their biology through art in terms of um, our nature, our, hu our like human nature, um, how that will turn out into new art pieces, and I want to concentrate on uh, particularly like patterns of biology and how the, how we subconsciously reflect that in our artwork, um, and that'll be my capstone for 2013. Um, I was raised in a very conducive environment in which art was very important in our family. And uh, when I was young, I was exposed to a lot of uh, art museums. I got to take art lessons. Um, I'm a third generation artist in my family. My mom's an AP art teacher. And um, I have a grandmother who's a master watercolor artist. So um, what was a hobby quickly became an obsession. And uh, <laughs> I've always viewed art as um, one of the most effective ways for me to express myself and certainly to try to figure out who I am as a person. So I'm very fortunate that I have the ability to explore that obsession. 
Uh, Hungry Bear is kind of an involved project. Um, it was conceived first when I was in uh, high school and we were together with friends and we came up with a project to tell the most gruesome story that we could imagine. And so my friend Mallory, uh, Mallory James, she told us this story about what she called deadly daisies. And uh, the story was about uh, Peter Rabbit who goes off traipsing into a dark forest in search of daisies for a sick mother and eventually gets consumed violently by a ravaged mangy uh, scary bear. So um, what was originally a jest, um, I kind of ran away uh, with the idea. Um, I was really intrigued by the contrast of the innocent and the evil. And uh, a couple days later, I designed a poster for her story. So what originally was a joke, uh, we kind of turned it into this kind of inside art thing. And uh, I wanted to revisit that and kind of play up the antagonist of the bear. And uh, I came up with Hungry Bear. And uh, now Hungry Bear is infused with symbolism. Uh, for me, it represents the insatiable hunger that's in each of us, whether it's for good or evil. So it's pretty cool to see it evolved from a joke into something that has validity and substance. So I'm happy with it. Uh, my storybook series uh, was originally um, thought of when I was in Digital Foundations with Bryce Brimer and I really wanted to perfect uh, the pen tool and Illustrator. And I thought, well, what better idea than to try to create these old storybook heroes and heroines into a streamlined, um, sophisticated graphic design set of illustrations. And uh, the inspiration behind the subject matter is that um, I am a hopeless romantic and I've always been an avid reader and I find that you can uh, discover a lot of cultural values, uh, codes of ethics, um, universal stereotypes uh, through children's stories or um, just stories in general. So with this series, I really played on my interest with textiles, different cultures, different stereotypes, and uh, tried to um, deconstruct the hero and see what values um, we implement in our characters that we love so much in stories. So um, it was a very exciting process. I started with the uh, heroines first, and I loved the project so much that I went ahead and continued with the companion pieces, uh, storybook heroes. And uh, because of this project, I am very interested to take these concept renderings to the next level by maybe implementing a story with a purpose, a plot of some sort. So I'm really, really excited with what this means towards my artwork. Um, this, is, this is a good question. Um, it is very cutthroat. It is very competitive in the art field and uh, several other fields, I'm sure. But um, being an art student here, the one thing I've realized is that you have to constantly challenge yourself. Um, you know, university will provide you with materials, with coursework, with, um, you know, things to study, knowledge, ideas, but you yourself are responsible for, um, you know, pushing your artwork to the next level. You got to constantly try to, you know, one-up yourself. And, uh, you know, being an art student, I found that taking classes outside of my studio classes um, have helped fuel my work and give me new innovative ideas uh, for new series. And um, I highly recommend that you go and, you know, go out there, go to gallery openings, uh, visit museums, see collections. Um, I work part-time at the Philbrook as a security guard, and I find it so beneficial, <laughs> even though I'm not the most uh, intimidating person on the team, um, I do have access to a vast collection of different types of artwork that I think is really beneficial um, in helping me decide what art I want to produce, what direction I want to go. So um, yes, definitely remain a scholar, uh, study, take classes outside your studio classes, and uh, expose yourself to the art world outside of the university and that will get you through. Okay, um, actually yes, um, I did do a, a series of geometric female nude figures as paintings 
And uh, I did give one of my paintings to a friend of mine, and she hung it in her office, and uh, I have heard that it's caused quite a controversy. Um, people perceive it as a wonderful piece of work. Some people find it extremely offensive. And as an artist, I'm, I'm at that point where I'm excited because if your work gets a, an extreme reaction, either positive or negative, that's good. That means that your art has a significant impact. And um, that's something that I'm really starting to work on. And a lot of my work is to have that substance and uh, to get a reaction. And so um, to hear that my work offends some people actually makes me really, really excited. I'd kind of like to continue trying to get <laughs> to that point. So. Um, um, yeah, but...